Geiger set in the year 2050 after this event known as the Unknown War that takes place um, uh, in our not too, too distant future. And um, with our stories, we're always trying to find the emotional relevance. And in this story, it's really about, you know, this man who, uh, Tariq Geiger, whose family is, it's really simple. His family's in, stuck in a fallout shelter in a wasteland. And he's he was changed by the fallout himself and has these strange radioactive abilities. And all he does all day long is protect that fallout shelter from scavengers. That's, that's it. That's the base. That's where we start. And then the story spins out in a lot of different ways. But we just start with this this guy who all he wants to do is protect his family. Um, and and he's waiting for the day that they can come out. And he's he's the only man in, you know, in the Nevada desert that can walk around outside without a suit on because of what this radioactivity has done to him. He's got these two boron rods in his back. And those boron rods were designed and, and implemented by another character from his past that we'll meet inside the, the, the six issues. Um, but Geiger, when he pulls these boron rods out, the internal radioactive charge within him starts to build up. And um, and he's got to keep those rods in him to sustain. And there's, you know, there's there's cool theories about, he's, he's a myth outside of, you know, uh, Las Vegas. They, they know who this, this, they call him the glowing man and Joe Glow and all these other nicknames. They don't really know his real name. And, um, but they see him at night. Yeah, you'll see him flickering on the at, in the desert at night. You can see him as he's protecting his, you know, his his family. I mean, he's basically an X-ray. He's he's basically a, a, because of the, you know the radiation thing. But the thing which I which I personally really wanted was to because he has these two states. I, I really wanted one of them to be monstrous. I wanted one of them to be kind of a you know a, a, a kind of a terrifying thing to kind of contrast with. The, you know, with what he is when he's when he's a guy, when he's a family man, when well, well, he's a protector. These are the night crawlers. So out in the desert, at night, yeah, these things come out. Um, people stay out of the desert at night because of these ra weird radioactive things. Another, another, uh, you know, there's all those cool, kind of cool posts from them to Hills Have Eyes, like all those kind of post nuclear war or radioactive fallout films that also inspired a lot of this I, I mean gary's just his talent is unparalleled he's a very humble humble human being uh well the first six issues all ship monthly sounds like that is the the, the plan and 100 percent. that's yeah, why yeah. we started so um early but yeah we're i'm working on the last issue uh issue six right now and gary's wrapping up five and we'll be done with issue six uh, um probably by the time issue two ships. But there are other things that we're doing that, you know, Gary and I are doing a book right after this that is um, that is the characters introduced in Geiger and and it it's kind of part of this part of this world but in a different a different time period. In our world there's a it's like a Peanuts or Beetle Bailey. There's this comic strip called Junkyard Joe that this Vietnam veteran created. And although this isn't the style of the book, like the style of the book that we're doing next, that it's going to be very, you know, like Geiger, but but, uh, but it explores this mysterious robotic soldier that was said to be seen. Gary and I are trying to create with Geiger. It's the doorway to a bigger universe of characters. And although Geiger is the first one, and but yeah, Junkyard Joe, you'll see some Junkyard Joe stuff throughout. It was fun. It was a it was a breath of fresh air. But um, yeah, it's kind of it's it's quite stimulating because you kind of. You're, 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 uh, you can kind of just like relax into your style. You know, a brand new character from the ground up, a guy who survives a nuclear war and, and is changed by it and has these cool radioactive powers that he uses to protect his family who's trapped in a fallout shelter and everyone wants to get inside. Walking x-ray kicks ass. <laughs> That's good too, walking. I love it. That. That's four words, I like that. <laughs> Walking X-ray kid kicks ass. I like that. Gary and I, you know, we um, we really love working together. We love this book, and we're excited about it. And we put everything we have into it. 